Hi, Catherine. Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Just want to recap on our short game lesson earlier. So we was working on two methods, okay, first of all. So I always want you to adopt the, the sensation or visualisation of uh, hitting a high shot or a low shot. Once you categorise that, your chipping action is going to become a lot easier. So the swing here on the left is the high shot, where we've got the ball opposite the left left heel, almost like driver. Okay, the blade of the club is slightly open. Uh, and this is all where you're going to feel where you, as you swing back, again, you're going to stay nice and wooden, but tendency is you're going to break the wrist slightly on these higher ones. That's a natural tendency. But on the way through, I want you to try and feel that you slide the club head underneath the ball. So the club head is going to beat the hands through impact and the club head is going to slide past. So when we come at this frame here, we can see here, that's the angle of the shaft and there's the angle of your left arm. Okay. Not a very good line. There you go. So you can see that line is broken. So you can definitely tell you're trying to sort of loft the ball up in the air. And you've just got to trust and use the bounce of the club to slide it under. Uh, and like I demonstrated, when I put you on that sort of wet, squidgy, muddy lie, if you tried to hold the angle coming into the ball, you'd hit it heavy or thin, where you need to actually use the bounce and slide it, uh, as I demonstrated there. So that's the high shot. The low shot here on the right is very simple again. Feet nice and close together. Ball's now middle of the stance. You can see set up left arm and club forms a lovely straight line. But all we're trying to do, Catherine, is, is maintain that angle. You know, we want to keep the left arm and club in a straight line throughout the swing. So it's just a push back with the chest. Okay, and you're going to see here as he comes through, he's just going to turn back through with the chest. Look at those hands straight ahead of the... Uh, the ball there, you can still see that left arm of club forms a nice straight line. If we take you through to the finish there, we can still see it's in a perfectly intact line, club club shaft and left arm. Where if we look at the other swing on the left, you can see it's broken. So you can see the difference of trajectory. Now, both of them, if we take it away, we'll just have a look at their shoulders. Okay, so there's their shoulder angle. Let's bring this guy up there. There's his shoulder tilt. OK, if we go through to the shot, the swing on the left, you can see he just turns back around that tilt. There's no backing up. You know, with you, you tended to hit a couple of shots where your your spine angle was backing up almost like your full shot and your hips and pelvis was very aggressive. So this is very, you know, very calm shot, nice rhythm, nice and slow. And it's just, a, you know, turn back, turn through. We don't really need the legs to do it. Look how soft the knees are. It's just a turn through. If we look at the other guy on the right for me, here it's just a rock back, rock through. Nothing really can go wrong. Hardly anything's moving. So work on them two techniques for me. Practice uh, both of them on a slight down slope. That will just encourage your shoulders to turn more down the slope uh, and around as opposed to tilting. Okay, uh, and practice with the alignment stick. So this low one here, we put a stick down the shaft or down the butt of the grip. And it was sticking out and that gave you the feeling that actually you just needed to turn your chest more to stop flicking at it through impact. Uh, and then to take it one step further, you then try and change the philosophy of trying to always land it on the green by about five or six foot. And then depending where, you know, obviously landing it five or six foot on, it depends on how far the ball will run from that spot. So I, if the flag is four yards on and you're trying to land it six foot on, the likelihood it's going to be a little bit more loft depending on where you are. And then we get a bit further away from the same spot, you'll be running it a little bit more, just like we did with the two balls on the green. And like I said to you, chipping the garden onto your towel, use the towel as a spot. It's all about spot chipping. And once you've got this technique and you can slow it down, you're going to be really, really good with it. So let me know any problems. Give us a shout. Otherwise, I was quite impressed uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, helping you. Thank you.